My forehead looks insanely big. What is going on lovely people? Candace B here. Thank you so much for coming to my channel. Welcome back to my subscribers and welcome to my new ones. How are you guys doing today? I hope you are doing well. Today I am back with an analysis video and a trade review video. I feel like I haven't done one of these in a while and I don't know, I just stopped doing them every week because I don't know, I feel like it just gets boring if I do it every weekend. So I'm kind of trying to just do it once in a while um, randomly. So yeah, that's pretty much why I'm doing one today. Um, yeah, so just gonna review the trades that I took this past week and then prepare for the upcoming week ahead, which I'm pretty excited about. I don't know, like I feel like on the weekends, I kind of get very bored and I'm just like, when are the markets gonna open again? I'm bored. So yeah, I'm just gonna get right into this video here. I didn't take too many trades this week, so it should not be a long video. But before I get started, you guys gotta stop and hit that like button. Come on, please hit that like button for me. And while you're down there, might as well press subscribe. Might as well press subscribe, guys, come on. Might as well, you know, hang out with your girl. But anyways, I already finished filming the video, but I needed to come back just to say as a disclaimer, of course, the way I analyze the charts is just how I personally do it. It's just my opinion, my thought process, the way I see things, you know, the way I see the market. So take it with a grain of salt. I am just thinking out loud. I'm not a mentor, I'm not teaching you. I'm not giving you a signal. I'm literally just saying what I would say to myself if the cameras were not on. So yeah. That being said, let us get into this video. So of course, the one and only pair that I traded this week is my love, my everything. It is GBP, JPY. You guys already know how much I love this pair and how loyal I am, okay? Loyalty is key and I am very loyal to this pair. So just starting from the beginning, I took four trades this week. I had an opportunity to take five, you know, one every day but there was one day that I literally knocked out. I was waiting for the setup and my bias was correct. I was just waiting for my entry. And then before you knew it, it was the morning and I was like, what happened? So yeah, we're just gonna see what we did this week. I think it was still a pretty profitable week overall, um, you know, even with just trading only four times this week, literally. I've been sticking to trading between 12 a.m. to 3 a.m. every morning and it's really, really, working well for me. I really enjoy it. It is nice and chill and it just helps me not to over trade. I know when I'm supposed to trade. I know if there is no setup, I just don't trade and it's just very like clockwork, you know, very straightforward. So it helps me just to remain completely emotionless, which that is the key. So the first trade that I took for the week was on Monday the 22nd and pretty much the reasoning for this was because my bias was um, a sell. And that's just because of this rally down here. You can see lower highs, lower lows being formed. Um, once price kind of rejected this area and was not able to make further highs, it started breaking bullish structure. So basically what I mean by that for, I guess, beginner traders that might be watching this is that I saw price moving up here, you know, higher lows, higher highs. So that was obviously, you know, bullish momentum. And then price capped out here, kind of created a double top which you can probably see on the lower time frames, And then it started to reverse down and it broke, it started to break structure. So if I just erase this, what I mean by it started to break structure to my eyes, what I waited for is for the last, pretty much the last higher low to be broken by um, a lower low here. So basically when price came down, created a low, created a high, created a lower low. So once this lower low was created, and it closed below this area here, that's when I deemed the structure broken and now the bias was to the downside. So I just obviously priced it its thing last week and then it got down to this area. So that's the reason why my bias was shorts. Um, and at this point, as you can see, price was consolidating. So I was just anticipating a breakout. Uh, oops, I always do that. I was just anticipating a breakout to the downside which did eventually come, but on Monday I did get stopped out. My stop loss was a bit too tight, which is fine. My stop loss is always predetermined. Risk to reward one to two, that's just it. Risk 1% for a 2% reward, simple as that. So yeah, my stop loss got hit 
it is what it is. I wrote it in my journal, reviewed the trade, talked about it and kept it moving. And then next day, the 23rd, I took a trade. So wait, let me just say the times as well. So on the 22nd, yeah, it was just around 3 a.m. that I would have taken that trade and I got stopped out. So I would have been sleeping. And then Tuesday around midnight, I got in. So that was just because I started to see the downside structure, that downside momentum, and I just capitalized on it. Um, seeing this small bullish candlestick kind of indicated to me that the bears were pretty much exhausted and that there was a higher chance that we were just gonna push down, which we did. My take profit was hit nice and simple overnight as I was sleeping. Yeah, so that was pretty cool. And then price continued down. My bias was still the same. I was still um, looking for shorts just following lower high, lower low momentum, as you can see, just, just very simple, lower high, lower lows, lower highs, lower lows. And so I waited for the break and the retest got in and I did end up putting my stop loss at break even. I did kind of feel iffy about this trade in terms of just where it was because there was such a bearish momentum. I felt that there was gonna be a pullback of some sort, even if price was gonna continue down further later i felt like there was going to be some sort of strong pullback so the moment i got a chance to put my stop loss at break even i definitely did that and sure enough literally it came down did not hit my take profit it reversed right away which i was totally fine with it was all good to me because guess what i was sleeping so that was the trade on um wednesday and so yeah thursday was the trade i did not uh, end up taking. I did actually have the bias that because of this trade that price was probably going to start pushing up and especially kind of seeing um, just this structure um, throughout the day. I was anticipating price to push up but again I was just waiting for my entry. I was just waiting for some sort of break and retest but as you can see that did not come between the time that I was trading during. It actually came around 6 a.m. where you see that break and retest of this structure and then a push up so you know even if i had waited up it wouldn't have been my time to trade so that would have been against my rules so whatever we move we move right and then last trade i took was on the friday and i had bullish momentum or bullish uh, bias and um, i'm just dropping down to the 30 minutes just so i can see clearly very simple again break retest waited for a confirmation that we were going to be going up and then enter the buy just to follow the momentum stop or my take profit was hit pretty quickly so it was what it was um yeah so those were pretty much the trades i took this week very simple week honestly i ended with a three percent gain and it took a very minimal effort so i mean that's awesome and I had a lot going on outside of trading this past week and I will have an even busier week this coming week coming up. So I will probably, you know, I might take less trades next week, who knows, but I really, really like the system that I've been back testing and developing. So I am happy. So anyways, let's remove these drawings real quick, real quick. And we're just gonna look at where price is right now. Let me go to the weekly because I know that the monthly is probably bullish. Yes, indeed, we are pushing up. It's almost the end of the month. Well, it is the end of the month, but it's like, obviously we have a few more days left until April. I can't believe it's almost April. March literally flew by. It's insane. I don't know if I'm just, if it's just me that thought that, but for me, March literally flew by. So I don't know, man. So yeah, um, as you can see the weekly, did close bullish um price did start by pushing down like we said you know we had that bearish momentum and then it corrected itself and ended up closing bullish um here so we have that bottom wick indicating that the bears just weren't able to sustain that level and the bulls came back in and pushed price up and um and then yeah that's just that so i'm curious to see if this is just kind of like a break and retest because if we zoom out to see the larger picture and you know for me how i see it the higher the time frame the stronger the bias especially when you know break and retests happen if it happens on the weekly time frame then it's pretty strong so it's just you know you have to wait longer to see that so right now we do see that well i see that based on my eyes um and so as you can see price had already closed above this area in the last couple of weeks and now it has come back to retest the zone as a 
um, support before it was retesting it as a resistance. If you want to just map it out, we see that this was a resistance a few times and then now price broke up and has retested it as a support now. So this was resistance, this was resistance, now it is support. So I want to see if price is going to still sustain this level here and continue to the upside, you know, looking left just to see these levels here to see where price would react. Um, but yeah, so right now my bias is bullish. Um, this coming week, just dropping down to the daily here. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Daily is looking, uh, I mean, daily's looking fine, I guess. Mm, to my eyes, it's kind of, I'm not too sure what's going on here. So what I can see obviously is that um, the Thursday candle stick did close as a bullish engulfing, engulfing that um, Wednesday candle. And so that's a good sign to the upside. We have we already have the confluence that it retested the zone and closed above it. So those are those are two confluences that I have to for my bullish bias. And then also we have this further push up. This was Friday's candle again. Just very uh, price just knew what it wanted to do, right? Like it just pushed up. And what I personally see, I'm going to just zoom in, is that price closed above this um, this bearish candlestick. Oh, what am I doing? So the fact that price had pushed down, um, rejected this area, created a support and is pushing up. And the fact that it also closed above this, this pullback here, if I wanna draw it. So it closed above this previous pullback. And um, yeah, so I wanna see if this wick here is gonna be filled now. I wanna see if price will have that momentum. I feel like it will, but you know, if it doesn't, it is what it is. Let's go down to the H4. Can't, daily kind of was confusing me. Okay, so H4, we do see very, very strong bullish rally to the upside. We see that close that I was talking about. So let me just start kind of drawing out structure. So this is what I see here. Um, that price closed above this area, even on the H4, it's confirming that it closed above this area. There is a doji though, so I wanna see what happens. Um, I probably would anticipate some sort of pullback, maybe some liquidity grab so that there's a further push up. Uh, I will keep an eye out for any fake outs. You know, if price kind of comes back down under this area and starts pushing down before it pushes up, I will keep an eye on that. Otherwise, if there is confirmation that pricing just doesn't want to go up at this time and I see some confirmation that price is closing below and continuing down, then I would probably look for some shorts back down to this area here, this um, zone. But um, that's, it really just depends. We'll see what price does. But for now, again, I'm still bullish. My bias is still bullish mainly. Um, so we'll see. I just need to see a confirmed bullish candlestick form and then kind of push up during the time that I trade. So between 12 a.m. and 3 a.m., I gotta see that move. If not, then I will just sit it out. Um, but yeah, pretty, pretty straightforward. I don't know if I'm going too fast. Going down to the, why do I keep doing this? Going down to the H1, it's a lot clearer for me, to be honest. I can just see, you know, double bottom here, higher lows, higher highs, break, break of structure, retest. I'm looking for that push up, simple as that. Break and retest, you know, of a confirmed trend. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it. I mean, pretty quick analysis, but pretty straightforward. GJ has been very fruitful. Um, I don't know, for me, it, it has been fruitful. I don't know if it has been fruitful for anybody else, but comment down below, let me know if it has been for you guys, if you trade GBP, JPY. Um, but yeah, it's been really, really nice to trade and really enjoyable, you know, just really chill. So yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. So there you have it, guys, a nice, quick, trade review, trade analysis, just getting to the point. You know, I'm trying to make these videos a bit quicker just because, you know, we, we simple over here. I'm not trying to complicate things, okay? Just I'm, just, I'm just trying to keep it simple. But anyways, thank you guys so much for stopping by. I appreciate it ever so much. If you enjoyed this video, if you found it helpful in any way, please let me know, hit that like button. Let me know if my analysis is coinciding with your analysis. If you trade GJ, comment down below, let your girl know. We can kind of discuss a bit further. And last but not least, do not forget to subscribe so you know when I post another video. And in the meantime, feel free to check out any of my other videos on this channel and my other channel, Candice BTV. 
I post vlogs over there, kind of day in my life type of content, other stuff, whatever I think of. So go subscribe to me over there, guys. I'm almost at 1,000 subscribers. Other than that, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you have a fulfilling, flourishing, mentally, physically, and spiritually healthy day, week, and life. Bye!